Hello, I'm Lowell Spears. Glad I could make it here with you again today. And glad you tuned me in. We're going to do violet roses. And uh, you see me, I was already putting the magic white on there. Before we get started here, let me just uh, show you how I measured my paint out. Using this portion of the knife as a guide, I'm going to put out one part. See, notice I stopped the paint right there at the end. Cut it off. It becomes one part. And now let me just take a look at my palette here, and I'll show you. I, I pre-mixed a couple of colors up here. The flower base color, which is two parts rose and one part permanent red. Two burn umber and a half a part violet. Now when I half a part violet, what I did is went just half, halfway on that measurement, okay? And on the background base, we got three orange, one phthalo blue, and one burn umber. And of course, we got permanent red and, and the soft white over here. And I got this magic white pretty well on. Let me just smooth it out just a little bit. But I'm working it on the end of the canvas pretty good. I'll just go over it a little bit. And I'm going to leave that magic white right in the brush. And we're going to coat the entire background with soft white and our background base. So let's take a little white away from this hair, bring it over here. And I'm going to make a little light gray color with this. Notice I'm making little X's down here. That, that uh, gets all the streaks out of the color just by doing X's. And let's just go over, over the canvas. Pretty light gray, maybe just a little bit darker. And what you can do is you can reload every once in a while and get a little variety of that same color. But also put it in with X's also, just like we mixed it on the palette. And with that magic white on there, notice how easy it goes in and blends right in. So let's finish that bottom up down here. You want to keep it fairly thin here because we've got to paint on top of this. So you need to work it in pretty good. But also not too thick either. In other words, don't get a buildup of paint. All right, now that's kind of a nice gray. Now what I'm going to do is take my flower base color with a little more white. Let's just bring it over here. And let's touch our flower base color and exit in here. Now I'm going to move this color around the canvas a little bit just it's, and leave some of the other colors showing through. A little bit more white there. And you keep doing that just at a few selected areas till you see a nice balance of the color or how you like it. And you can also do that after you get through painting your, your flowers. You can still do that too. Okay, now we're going to put in our, let's put in our flower base. And I'm going to take a petal brush now. And I'm going to put in at least three roses here. One a little bigger and a couple a little bit smaller. And okay, on the first one here, I'm not going to use the, the base by itself. I'm going to use a little white with it. Well, let's, let's start about like that. Load the brush nice and smooth. And uh, I'm going to select an area right here. I could make some circles, but I'm just going to start, put one in and then select the, the area of the rose next. Hold back on the brush. Do not have a buildup of paint here. At this point, you can just make kind of a circle. Now to that same mixture, let's add a little bit more white to it. And let's come up right up here. And notice it's just a little bit lighter. And of course, it's picking up that background color too. No buildup of paint. And let's make another small one. Maybe just a little bit lighter again. Just add a little more white to that same mixture. And let's put a little one right up there. Okay, in order to face these flowers now, I'm going I'm to use the same color to begin with. Here, let's, let's go with the, pretty much the dark color. And to make it just a little bit darker, I'm going to add just a little touch of the, the background base to it. Okay, let's face this rose down this way. Put it 
not quite in the center. If I was looking right at it, it would be right, you'd be putting it right in the center, but I put it this side of center a little bit and pulled it up this way. And put a little semicircle of uh, color there, kind of create that little cup of the rose. Let's do the same thing in the other one. Made it just a little bit lighter. This one's a little bit lighter, so add a little bit of white to it and pull it up. You don't want to build up a paint up in this area up here because when you do these overlapping strokes for the petals, you're going to come and hit that heavy paint and it would pull up on the next stroke. And like we did the first one, let's put a little shape like this. And our top one, it's pretty small. It's tipped up a little bit more. So let's put the color up a little higher in the, in the flower. But let's do this little crescent shape here, work right up towards the top of that petal. Okay, now at this point, we're gonna start on our leaves. And on this particular arrangement, um, I'm not gonna put a, some stems down. Let's just have everything more or less like you were looking right at the arrangements. And so we're looking kind of down on it, so you're not seeing any major stems. All you're seeing is leaves and stuff flowing out from it. So, large uh, leaf brush here. We'll start with our background base. And a little white. Load the brush nice and smooth. Okay, let's just start right in here. Let's just pull some major lines out of there. You could, you wouldn't have to do them all. You could start right here painting the leaves. And now watch. I'm going to lean the brush towards the way the stem is. This representing the center vein. Lean it towards the center. Rotate it, and make the first stroke. pull that line back through the center. Ideally, now you want to stop the stroke right at that center vein. Now I'm going to remove a little of the paint and reload for another leaf. Don't be afraid to hit that flower color a little bit. Let's put one up here. Maybe this one here will tip, tip it a little bit and you can just see half of it. Now watch, I'm going to load a little darker color on this again and paint on this side of it, creating that leaf as though it were tipped and you can see this side in the shadow a little more. Okay, let's, let's curl some out of here. Void straight lines when you're doing your flowers. Go with the flow a little bit. Here again, don't worry about hitting that flower color. That makes that leaf look a little, it kind of ties it in with the, uh, with the uh, flower. Harmonizes the painting for you. Okay, a few more bigger ones. Let's see, maybe we come out of here and have one sticking up here. Okay, maybe, on this, in this case, maybe you would see a port, well, I guess not. I was going to say maybe we'd see a little of the stem. Let's wait till we do our leaves in here first. Let's put another big leaf over here first. Okay, now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take the liner brush. I'm going to thin the paint down, some of that same color, thin it down to the point to where that will almost run or will run a little bit on the palette if you hold it pretty much like I am. Pretty thin. And let's let's put in some uh, some loose lines and it'll kind of give us something to add other leaves on or or maybe we'll leave some of them just as grass. And try to look for a balance as you paint along. Now, um, instead of just keep doing them kind of leaves, let's, uh, let's take a look to the same mixture that we got here, which was white and flower base. Let's add a little of our, or background base and white, let's add a little bit of flower base to it. 
and let's get a little bit of a reddish look and let's do a different type of leaf. It is exactly like the first stroke you do on these leaves. Now from here on I'm going to do some of them single stroke, some of them with two strokes. By That makes it open it up. And I'm just going to work around the canvas a little bit and get a, maybe I'll make them a little bit redder even. And I'm going to add a few more up here. And this would be a good spot. Looking for a little balance here. Now see this side is kind of a void. Paint right over top of the leaf. Now I put that little stem in by using the corner of the brush. Notice I got the corner of the brush. Just them part of the bristles making that line. Up higher here, let's, let's disappear a few leaves in the background by taking that color and mixing it right into the background color. And let's just fade a few out. I'm also going to hit a little bit of that flower color. Notice when I'm hitting it, pull a little of that color out into the background. Now I could have I could have hit that hit the palette with that with that color, but it's just real handy to just do it right there while it's by the by your brush there. Okay, now I don't want to do all the leaves yet. I want to paint the flower. I'm going to use the same brush. It's a large leaf brush. And that's a sable. I'm going to clean this brush. It doesn't have to be real clean. However, at the end of the painting, or when I get through with the painting, I'd want to make sure that I uh, clean the brush real thoroughly. And now we're going to use soft white and permanent red. A little touch of permanent red in that. Mix it up pretty good. And don't start too light. Like I'm adding a little bit more red, and I will make an adjustment. I think I need it at that point, but when I get up here, that's when I'm going to make the final adjustment. I got, I got some marks up there. I could either take them out, but they're not going to bother me. I'll paint right on top of it. Let's start right up here. Starting right at the front. Now you just watch it a while here, and I'll and observe what I'm doing, and I'm going to I'll tell you a little bit more. We got plenty of flowers here to to do it. I painted the front of the rose there first. If I don't like that color, I'll just take it out and just blend it into that background color. Notice I painted the front of the rose and I also look how I load the brush nice and smooth on both sides. But quite a lot of paint in it. Now after I do the front here, I'm going to work around the back side. Let that paint come off of the back side by pushing up a little bit. Now I've created that circle of color there. Now I can go down inside of that color, paint on top of them petals. Now without reloading, I'll put a few more petals here and then a few inside. Just depends how closed up you want it. But I want to kind of leave it open a little bit. I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, now I'm going to paint some of the outside petals, directing them towards the stem. The stem would be kind of down underneath, about in there. So all the strokes are pretty much headed towards that direction. And notice I didn't have to, I didn't paint, and I wasn't uh, confining my stroke to the area of, of the uh, flower color. I can overlap like I did there on the background. Like this leaf here, that leaf don't bother me. I'll paint right over top of it. Let it kind of show through there a little bit. But what is important is a little tip of color that you get out at the edge creates a little highlight and you're pushing that off of the back side of the brush. Making the stroke and just you make that petal just in one stroke. Or that portion of that petal in one stroke. And the fact that I'm holding the brush straight in is when I'm releasing, 
I'm making a little gentle arc and it, it picks up the darker color and blends by itself. Now we got right here now I didn't like that so I'm going to go over that and put a petal on the front of it. Now my color's picking up a lot of the color underpainting color, the flower base, so I'm going to add a little more of my permanent red to it. And let's let's go down here on this one here. The stems back here, so I'm directing all these strokes back towards that area. Generally painting a few petals in the front first. Be relaxed. And the faster you paint, the more confidence you get, the more successful you'll be. So I did the same thing I did up there. I made that circle of color around there. Come back in, put some inside. And that that uh, little push-up stroke is made a little more successful if you can do it a little bit faster. Kind of like a flicking motion. Now this here pedal here kind of goes over that way too far, so now I'm going to decide that I want to put another pedal in front of that, so I'm going to just curl it right around, see? Now let's go on to the outside here. I know you all heard roses are the toughest flower to paint. I don't know what it is about roses. Maybe it's a mental block, but I, f I find that they're pretty easy to paint. You now, what I'm doing now is I'm looking for a balance. I don't have a, I don't have a uh, picture of uh, bouquet of roses or anything that I'm looking at. I'm just making it up as I go and figuring out the balance. Now, this looks kind of void. I could have a few more petals right on the front there. Let's get, let's get back into our permanent red and, and a little more white. And let's put some petals right on the front. And these petals would be just a little bit shorter. Now this here looks like a, we've got one, two, three there. So I need to do something about that. I'm gonna pull this pedal on top of that. See, I made that decision. It just didn't look that good. It looked like repetition there. So you can keep making the changes accordingly. Now to finally balance it, I look at the whole shape and I feel like that I, got, I could use something over here. So I'll just put a, a pedal over there. And that applies to this one up here. If it wasn't balanced, and it's pretty close, maybe I could use a couple on top of that. And by doing them out there, you can see right through that there and pick up that green color. Okay, let's go up there to the top. And let's put this little one in. Paint it again, paint the front. Put petals right on the front again if you want more petals showing, just by pushing up. And then come over here and do the back side. Maybe even another pedal like that. And then a couple little side pedals here. A few more pedals around the outside. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just come back into this one here and put another pedal right in here. Okay, now we're going to, let's, let's go back into our green color again, and I'm going to make a, just a little bit darker color now of some of the leaves. Let's go into more of our background base, and of course our, our red, which is the flower base. Okay, compare the color a little bit. I want a little more uh, flower base in it. And let's, let's make it, again, let's go on the edge of some of the flowers even. And let's put a little darker c color in there. And also, you don't have to restrict yourself just to the small ones. Paint it, let's, let's go around and have a, 
little spray of these here. Bigger leaves, but they're a little darker. This area up here needs something. Paint right on top of it. And let's do a little few more of these. Right over here would be a good spot for the littler ones. Now you remember I mentioned something about it might be a stem here. Well, there might be one there, but let's just cover it up. Take it out of question. Your color is going to pollute with some of the background after a while, and you're going to have to remix it once in a while. I'm going to overlap a, another big leaf right over top of this area. I feel like we could use some of our darker color out here. Okay, I'm going to go back to some of the original color that we did on our leaves, which was background base and white. And uh, I'm going to put in, I'm going to do a little, a few little buds in here. Start right up here, turn the brush. Turn it clear around, pull it up till it sharpens right up at the tip. Come right underneath, make a little half circle there, pull a little stem in there. A couple little leaves sticking out of there. <coughs> Maybe over here, let's, let's this time I'll put the stem in first. Hit the brush straight in, roll it right around, let it sharpen up there at the top come in and put the bottom in. And maybe, how about uh, a different type of leaf here? We're going to put a little color in that too. But first of all, let me do this leaf. Let's, let's come in right in here and tip it in and turn the brush like this. That's always a nice leaf. Let's have another one right there. Now since we did that there, we've got to do some more of it over here. And over here. And I'm not going to get too carried away with that. Maybe one more that sticks up out of here. Start at the top this time. Start sharp. Turn, start turning the brush. Once you're in there, you can come right back out with one the other way. Let's go up here to this, these buds here. Let's put a little color right in here. Just tap it in there. And one over here. Okay. So down in here, let's do let's do some little little uh, leaves down in here, smaller this time. This little stem that's curled up here. Let's just put some things going on down here. See, you can make small stems, small leaves with this big brush. Don't restrict yourself. You can do a lot with this brush, I'll tell you. Now I've done this here now, I feel like now that I got to do some more some other place to kind of balance it. On the outside edges primarily. Put them in with a liner brush or with the the edge of this sable brush. We got kind of a flat area that runs across here. I want to break that up and pull that right up out of there. Okay, on, a, on these here little rosebuds, I'll just wipe my brush off. I'm going to get back to our light color again. And let's just tip it with a little bit of lighter color right up here. And also on this one over here. Now just to finish this up, I see these three petals right here. I'm just going to add a couple more petals on the front of that. Just using a white and permanent red.
heading them towards the stem. Now this, this is your point where you can look, step back and, and make your final uh, things that you need to do. Like this is kind of like it would, could use a little refining. Adding a few more petals, making the, the rows fuller. This one I'm going to pull in front of that one. And maybe just a little bit back here. A little final balance on that one. Let's go up here to this top one again and put a couple more petals on the front there. Now right this area here we've got a void, so let's just curl that over. Now we could have added more to this painting, but if you notice, if you look at it, it's it's getting pretty full of uh, you know plenty of foliage and for the three flowers and the two little buds. Actually, if you look at this one right up here, it looks like a bud. I, I think I'll just make a bud out of it just by putting a a little calyx up there. That's so there was a happy accident. I made something out of it.